Hey everybody, Dr. Barron here with virtualheadachespecialist.com. I just dropped a new blog on migraine triggers. Check it out. I'll put a link in the comments in the feed. You can go check it out there. Uh, it's gonna go through a lot of information. It's gonna go through a lot of common triggers to watch for, uncommon triggers to watch for. I've, all, I've heard all kinds of uh, crazy things like uh, somebody grilling chicken five houses down, uh, strawberry ice cream, you know, all kinds of bizarre things. But the thing to remember is that there doesn't have to be a trigger. Migraine is an electrical event. It can just happen without a trigger. Just like epilepsy, people can just have seizures. Uh, they don't have to always be provoked. And migraine is the same thing. It can just happen. So if you can't find a trigger, it doesn't mean you're doing something wrong. You may not necessarily have a trigger. Some people can have a single trigger to turn on this migraine switch. Others need a combination of triggers to lower the threshold lower and lower until that migraine turns on. So someone with menstrual migraine, for example, um, you know, if there's a storm, it might really trigger a bad migraine, the combination. So sometimes it's accumulation of triggers that can also do it. So this is going to go through how to track for triggers, the strategies for controlling your triggers, uh, and a lot more information. So check it out. You guys have com uh, questions, comments, drop them in the feed and I will get to them. Okay, take care. Bye.